was using to catch the snook in that area was a white bait, a 3 aught mustard J hook, and I was using my Spheros 5000 by Shimano. As soon as we released the snook double, it did not take long at all to catch another snook. I cast it the same area where I caught that last one, and two seconds later, I hooked up. It actually fooled her at first. She thought she had a bigger fish than she did, but it was just because it was a really tough fish and it was pulling some drag, and uh, we got it closer to the boat and landed the fish. There he is. Good job. Nice Got that mustad hook Thanks. right in the corner of his mouth. Yep. Well done. You want to pop that out for me? Yeah. Cut it out. Show him here. Very nice one. They keep getting bigger, so that's really good. Oh, yeah. You want to let him go? Yep. Let's let him go. Okay. I was very surprised with the amount of smoke there in the area. I absolutely love catching them and we were catching one after another all day long. It was a great time with everybody and I can't wait to do it again. About to release this guy. So you can catch him later. There you go. Took off like nothing happened. Let's catch another one. Just trying to get my breath. 
I'm really scared. <laughs> That was really super intense. It was super intense. It was really super intense and um, really saw a lot of action and lost my footing. And it was just a really quick fight, but at the same time, really cool. I almost went over a couple times. And I saw another shark eat another shark. Great. We just had a huge shark hit our bent butt line, and we had a chunk of Bonita out, and he just took a screaming run, took a whole bunch of line. Uh, so now I gotta fight him and try to get this line back and check out how big this shark is. Take your line still. Not stopping. soon. take risks and see if you can get the monster shark to the boat.
and drop it. And let her go until you feel its paws at the bottom. First drop in the morning, light tackle spinning rods, dead bait. Not bad. Peter might have something a little bigger. He takes it easy. We got color up there for Peter. This one's nice. We have to get some. Whoa. And we're good. Good release. Oh, get back. Get on it. Oh my, what's going on over there? Peter, she needs help. Use this to put your legs right up to and you can lean down and pull back. Use your back. First, first fish right in the jaw. Come on in, get a photo. Catch him. Lean over. Let it sit for a second. Pull, pull it. No, 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 no. She's got it. Yeah, you got it. There you go. Got one. Good girl. We just came offshore a few miles, put a couple dead baits down, second drop, second fish for all of us. Nice little day, catching some snapper on light tackle near shore. <clears throat> Look at her. She ain't letting this fish get the best of her. Oh, nice one. Yep. Bring nice. that rod tip right over to me. Tip. There you go. You want to talk about it? What would we just do here? What happened to you? Caught my second fish of the day. Yeah? Was it yeah. easy or what? Super hard to pull it up, but I got it. <laughs> How long did it, it take? Hard. Uh, about like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes. How long did it take for, for it to eat the bait once it got down there? Uh, well, I rolled it down in about a minute or two. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Got straight up hammered. Girl's doing good. First time out. Thank you. Catching some good fish. <laughs> Let's go get another one. I don't think we need a photo. Oh, there's a fish down there. This is five drops in a row. It won't stop. Everyone, some dead bait, 80 feet of water. If you're spinning rods, you can use these for red fishing. And then come out here and land some of these red snapper. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, daddy came to town. Well, we decided to take a quick little trip on out here. First spot, ended up finding a absolute swarm of these red snappers, caught enough of them. So we're gonna let this guy go, head to the next spot in hopes of finding a few variety of fish out here. Stay with us. 